Roanoke Animal Shelter sees influx of owner-surrendered animals, causing less room for strays. The Regional Center for Animal Care and Protection, RCACP, is reminding pet owners to call before surrendering an animal. The facility is currently only responsible for strays and is at capacity. The staff says they understand the cost of caring for a pet might be high, encouraging more people to surrender, but they say they can help with food and medical care. Interim Executive Director, Mike Warner said, if you show up here with your animal, we will take your animal, but we want that opportunity to have that dialogue to see what's going on, if there's medical help that's needed, or if there's food or something like that. To stay up to date with latest top stories, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the button above this video. He says they're seeing a 9% increase in owner-surrendered animals which is significantly high. When there's an influx of surrendered animals, Warner says there is less room for strays. He says shelters across the Roanoke Valley are full, and they want to try their best to avoid euthanizing animals. We're caring for about 269 animals, 69 of those being in fosters. We depend heavily on our fosters to give them a safe place to stay, while we try to work out the inventory said Warner. RCACP staff members have been stepping up to help with space by volunteering to foster. One staff member, Celia Hinkle typically fosters kittens who come through the door and need a place to stay for a few days. She says fostering is great for people who might not have time to care for a pet long term. Hinkle said, it really helps us, but if you're an animal person and you love animals, but maybe you don't want the full-time commitment of a pet, it fills that need in your heart, but you know then, you're helping the animal and you can then pass it on to their forever home. RCACP also encourages fostering from their partners, Angels of a Sissy and the Roanoke SPCA.